Hello everyone, today I want to show you a new GXP Cloud feature that is going to help you debug your applications more efficiently. So let's take a look here on this project. We have different sets of services and I'm going to see the logs of the Elasticsearch. So here we have three different types of logs. We have the applications logs, which is pretty much all my runtime information, everything that happens after the application is already running and being accessed by users. And then I have the build logs, which is everything that happens before it's uh, booting up. So the entire process of pulling the images, the Docker images from uh, the registry, setting up those images, building them and creating them. And then we have the new type of logs, which is called status logs. And this category is pretty much a combination of different informations from the orchestration layer, from the Kubernetes uh, cluster that we run. So when we select that, we're going to see different types of informations uh, around this service. I can know when the service was created, when it was started, when it was deleted, for example. And one that is very interesting, very, very useful while debugging is the redness probe. So here I can see that there was a request to this specific port and the connection was refused for some reason. So we can take a look on our redness and liveness probe in order to understand better what happened. So we can go to this ready pill over here. And here I have the two different setups. I have the liveness probe, which checks a particular path to make sure that the application is live. And then we have the redness probe, which checks another path. In this case, it's like the root path on the port 9200. And after three successful thresholds, it determines that it's ready to serve requests to users. So there are many different parameters that I can tweak and configurations that I can fine tune uh, this check. I can change the initial delay when we check the uh, if it's live or if it's ready. We can check the period in, in seconds, the timeout, and I can set up different uh, thresholds for both success and failure statuses. Now I can do other types of things like if I want to download those logs and check them on my own machine on uh, my own code editor instead of using the web uh, version. So I can just uh, click downloads. Now I have everything on my machine to check or I can use the CLI. So after you run LCP update to grab the latest version, you can type LCP log and you can see the different types of options that we have here. And there's one called type and there's a new option here called status. So let's try that out. That same project, uh, I'm gonna fetch the search service and I wanna get the status type. And now we can see that whole information here in your own terminal and you can debug here uh, if it's more easy for you. Looking for more information on this topic or others? Check out our links in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.